Hi there. Please allow me to introduce to you the latest member of the Gigabyte 7 Series family. And as you can see, this is a Mini ITX board. This is the Mini ITX H77N Wi-Fi, which we're launching this week along with its brother, the Z77N Wi-Fi. Being Mini ITX, of course, is very compact. Uh, 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters. Here we have the H77 uh, Intel chipset. Here we have a PCIe module, which uh, I'll get to in a moment. If we look at the f uh, back panel I.O., we have two USB 3 ports here. We have PS2. Interestingly, we have two HDMI ports. Uh, we figure that this, this board is probably the most connected or connectable mini ITX board we've ever done. Uh, and one of the reasons is because we have these two HDMI ports and a DVI port for an additional option. But I think the HDMI is useful because in a, say for example, a home theater PC scenario, you could use one to connect one of these HDMI to connect to your projector or your HDTV, while the other can, can carry the audio signal, the uh, digital audio direct to your AV center. Um, we've also got, as you can see, the, the DVI, above the DVI, we have two uh, connectors for the antenna. That's for the Wi-Fi module. Here we have four USB 2 ports, but interestingly, two uh, gigabit LAN ports. Both of these are supported by Realtek chips. We put two Realtek chips on here. And by having two of the same chips, we can support teaming, which of course which will double your potential bandwidth to two gigabytes, uh, two gigabits per second rather, I should say. It's also useful because you can connect one of these to your internet, but you can also connect the, the other gigabit port to your home NAS. I guess there's lots of different uh, combinations and scenarios you could use just with those two dual LAN there. At the end here, you can see we've got HD audio. Right next to me, we have a system we've built using the H77M uh, Wi-Fi board. This is the Thermaltake SD101, which uh, should be on the market quite soon. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's also very compact. It's very mini ITX, if you like. And it's the kind of system that we think would be ideal for a home theater setup. If you like, we'll take a look inside. Okay, so as you can see, it takes quite a lot to get actually into the into the chassis, the way it's designed. But uh, Thermal Take have managed to squeeze absolutely everything into a very small space. So first of all, you can see over here, this is the power supply. This is a 180 watt, uh, I suppose, like a miniature power supply, which has been designed to to fit ex precisely into the case, and it's smaller than a, a regular desktop PCU power supply. And here, of course, we have the motherboard. And this is the, the Intel cooler here. Underneath here we have the uh, Intel i3-3225 CPU, which we believe is a perfect choice for a home theater PC because uh, it actually uses, it's low power, it uses less power, only 55 watts maximum uh, TDP. But the great thing is it also ha has HD 4000 graphics. Over here you can see that we've got a few gigs, or a few, uh, I'll just say a few uh, RAM DIMMs. This is DDR3, of course. And... Actually, as I said, you get quite a lot in here. You get a full three point, what is it, five point two inch uh, Blu-ray or or DVD ROM bay, which which fits in here quite nicely. But you also get enough space for a three point five inch hard drive, as well as a two point five inch hard drive. So this is our SSD with our OS on it, and this guy here is where we'll store all of our uh, our media content that we want to view on the HD TV. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the really cool things about this board is the inclusion of this mini, uh, mini PCIe module right here. This is an Intel uh, Centrino wireless module. It's the N2230. And uh, the great thing about it is it supports Intel wireless display 2.0 technology, as well as the regular Wi-Fi grades B, G, and N, and also Bluetooth 4.0. Now, uh, Intel wireless display, or WiDi technology, is a, is a technology that, that allows you to display whatever's happening uh, on your Windows desktop can then be displayed onto a HDTV or another monitor completely wirelessly or just over, over a Wi-Fi connection. So right here behind me, we have a regular monitor hooked up over HDMI to our mini uh, home theater PC. And over here, we have a high-definition TV, which is connected to a Netgear Wi-Di uh, compatible adapter. So here we have the Intel WiDi software app, and it's very, very simple. We just loaded it up and it did a quick scan and it found, you see here, it found a display called Living Room, and the signal strength's pretty good. 
not surprising because we're actually quite close to it. Um, living room is the name that we've allocated to this uh, HD TV on the right here. Now, if I simply press connect, it'll take a couple of seconds. What it will do is it'll broadcast the same uh, desktop that we're seeing here on this display over here on the HD TV. So now we have a, an exact clone. Whatever happens over here on the display also happens over there on the HD TV. However, if I don't want to clone a uh, situation, if I want to extend the desktop, as you can see, I have op options here. When I go to multiple displays, this is just within the regular Windows configuration settings, I can change to extend these displays. So now, as you'll see, I will essentially have two displays. I click Apply. And now what you'll find is that we have one desktop over here, but we now have an extended desktop over here on the right. This is cool, so if you want to you want to use one display kind of to queue up uh, your content or use iTunes or Netflix or YouTube or whatever, over here you can get your content ready and then once you, once you know what you want to watch, you can then play it over on the, the other screen. So I think that's pretty cool. This is a pretty uh, good feature for, for, a, for a home theater situation. Also remember that this screen, the HDTV could in fact be in another room, another part of the home. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for joining us. The Mini ITX H77N Wi-Fi motherboard from Gigabyte. Possibly the most connected or connectable Mini ITX motherboard we've ever done.